Hey, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my everyday summer Miami sweat proof makeup routine. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I had to figure out what would work for me out here. If you don't know, I live in Miami and with the mask and with it being super, super hot, I had to figure out what the heck my makeup routine was going to be because I still want to be able to wear makeup, but that's just something I enjoy. So I had to figure out a routine. So if you're interested or if you live in another city or state that has similar weather to Miami, and you want to know, you know, what type of makeup, what type of products is going to work or what works for me, then just keep on watching this video. type is a combination so I usually get oily in my t-zone and then I'm more normal on the outer perimeters of my face out here in Miami is humid but it's not like super hot to where I sweat a whole lot on my face so I don't have to really go in with a lot of mattifying stuff I actually like to go in with more dewy stuff to ensure that my skin is going to be nicely hydrated if it does get dry first I'm going with this serum that I got from TJ Maxx you guys this is an aloe vera serum I believe that aloe vera is is one of the best freaking plants period um period that has ever been created or who that has ever been grown aloe vera works so good on my skin y'all it works good in your hair it works good on your skin especially combination because it's not too like oily or too sticky to where it's gonna cause you to produce oils but it's also moisturizing enough to where it actually moisturizes next we're gonna do brows so usually i like to use powder but honestly powder out here doesn't last that long because it is kind of humid so i like to go in with a brow pencil majority of the time this is the ColourPop brow boss and this is in the shade dark brown so what i would do is just go in and just very lightly fill in my brows i don't like to be too extra just kind of filling in the sparse areas I do like to clean up my brows, but majority of the time it's just under my brow and not on top. So I'm going with this Judas Place Concealer in the shade 6. And I'm hoping this isn't too dark. Honestly, my skin tone has changed so much out here because, you know, I be outside living my best life. I'm just going to go in with this and just clean up the bottom of my brow. So you don't want to go too light because you don't want that highlighted looking brow. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out and I don't really wear eyeshadow like that right now. Um, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm going to like brunch or to dinner or something like that, I would. But if it's just a regular smegular day, I probably won't really put on any eyeshadow. Okay, so next for primers, there's two primers that I pretty much use out here. So either I go with this primer right here, which is the Essence Prime in Studio. This is a really nice primer because it's glowy and I feel like it makes my skin look super good under. Or I will go in with the NYX honey do me up primer right here this one um also brings you a little bit glow but it's not that type of glow where it's like shimmery it's more of like a inner glow so i'm gonna go with this one today this one's really nice i really like this one so i'm gonna apply this on my face and i do like to use a primer that is kind of sticky personally i found that living out here primers that are like mattifying just do not do well i don't know if it's the humidity or what it is but primers that are like super mattifying don't do well with my skin out here it just makes my skin super dry um so i like to play off of keeping my skin you know kind of like semi matte but more on the dewier side because once you start to like sweat a little bit or the humidity starts to get on your skin it's gonna kind of like enhance your doing this versus causing it to be totally opposite this primer is also kind of sticky which i like because that's going to help my foundation stay on so those stickier more silicone um, and primers are going to be really good for me so for foundation there are a bunch of foundations that i like to use out here so my top favorite one is the nyx total control drop foundation right here i like this foundation because it's super 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 lightweight but it gives you nice coverage and it also kind of has that semi-matte feel so i don't really have to set my face as much as i normally would if i'm feeling more glamorous and want some full for coverage i like to use this ruby kisses fresh all day matte foundation 
right here but this one I don't use too much because I don't really go for that look that often. And another one of my faves is kind of playing off of this one kind of. But this one's a little bit more dewier than this one is. This one doesn't have any matte to it. This is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation right here. Y'all know I love this one a lot. This was my go-to last summer as well. All these foundations don't have that much coverage. They're pretty much medium to light coverage. But if you're someone who likes full coverage, um, you can just get you a more full of coverage foundation. I like the Fenty Beauty Hydro Hydrate Hydrating Foundation. I like that one. But I think that one is full coverage as well. So I just basically blend this out with a beauty blender. I'm using a beauty blender because I just want this to be flawless. Like my go-to out here is for my foundation and for my makeup to look like skin. So that's what I go for. So it looks literally like skin. Like it's so nice this foundation isn't the best match for me right now it's kind of in between my normal shade so i may have to kind of correct a little bit to make it look better but you can layer it if you want but most of the time i don't feel the need to it's enough for me and as you can tell it kind of just like set down and it's kind of like a semi matte so that's why i really didn't go in with a lot of mattifying primers because it just would have been too matte i'm playing in between my lights to see which lighting i like better so sorry if it looks crazy but for concealer i like to play around with my concealers you guys i don't use the same concealer all the time but i do like my concealers to be full coverage because i feel as though since i'm using a more natural skin tone and natural coverage foundation i feel like i do need that coverage under my eyes so i'm gonna go in with my Juvia's place concealer it's in the shade 12 you already know how i feel about Juvia's place their products are amazing now i don't use a lot because i don't want to look crazy with you know barely any foundation on and there's some really really thick concealer so i just basically take this like that and it's the smallest amount if y'all can't tell it's on my nose everywhere else but just a very small amount and there's blend this out with my beauty blender it gives me the perfect amount of full coveredness without being you know too much too drying i like the finish as well hopefully i can figure out which lighting i like so i'm sorry that i changed up the lighting but i'm just you know tweaking and seeing what i like better so yeah let me know down below which lighting do you like better the more warmer tone this one or the cooler tone that i had before i switched it just that full coverage concealer with a very light layer of foundation that's just the mood like we don't need all that foundation especially now it's too hot for that and that's just everywhere okay so i do like to cream contour so i like to use this is a old old contour stick that i got from makeup revolution so i just use this pretty much everywhere especially because i like to look tan if i'm not super tanned so i just put this everywhere you can use a beauty blender to blend this out or you can use a brush but today i'm using a beauty blender on the booty side and just blend this out this can also help if sometimes my foundation is a little bit too light because you know tans and stuff this can kind of bring back in the warmth Okay, so it really depends on what I'm doing that day if I'm going to be outside a lot. But I do still like to use setting powder. But the setting powder I use to set down my highlighted areas is it's the Airspun Cody Powder. Because even though this is a setting powder, it doesn't really finish like a setting powder. Like it's not super drying. It's not super cakey. It's a really, really nice lightweight powder. So I just take on my Beauty Blender and I pat off the excess. I basically just tap it into my skin so i'm not baking no 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 i would not recommend baking out here unless you're super oily but since i'm combo since i'm combination i usually just set the areas that get the most oily which is my t-zone and as you can tell it's so lightweight but it still makes your skin look like skin that's why i love it so i get oily around my mouth around my nose so i make sure to really put some there for bronzing i take bronzing super super serious now because i don't want to look ashy i don't want to look cakey so i like to use this makeup revolution bronzer right here it's in the shade zero two warm and this bronzer it's cool like i have better bronzers but this one is one of my newer ones so i try to use it so basically i just like to tap the product in because i really like to look bronzed so I tap it in and then I blend it out if it needs to be blended. But I wear a I wear a lot more bronzer now out here. For blush, I usually use something that's kind of orangey or peachy. I'm gonna use this California blush from Benefit. It's a really good blush. It's gonna take this 
and apply it on my cheeks. I love blush as well, especially out here. It just kind of like that sun-kissed look vibe, but it's always that vibe. But first, I'm going to go in with a setting spray that I know that will help keep my makeup on. So I'm going to first take the Physician's Formula setting spray right here. So I'm first going to use this. And I'm going to let that dry down. So I do like to do wings lately, which is weird. But I'm just going to take a little eyeliner and just do a little wing. And as you can tell, very, very small, but super, super cute. I also do wear my natural lashes out a lot out here, which is really, really different for me. But I do. It just depends on what, I, what I'm doing. It's the weekend. I'm going to wear lashes now. But like through the week, I usually just wear mascara. So I have the eyeliner on. And I just use this Hank and Henry eyeliner pen that is actually really, really good. Okay. So for lashes, I like to take some real like wispy-ish type of lashes. So I'm going to take these. These are the Broadway Double Wispies right here. And I'm just going to apply these on. Y'all know I like to use my Sashi and Chic glue. I'm just going to plop these on real quick. So now I'm going to put on some brow gel. I'm going to keep those brows down. I'm going to take this. This is the Anastasia brow gel. And next we have highlight. So my favorite freaking highlighter is this Anastasia highlighter right here that I got from TJ Maxx. This is a loose highlighter and it's in the shade So Hollywood. And y'all, that's exactly how it be making me feel. Okay, so I just take a little bit of it out of this little jar. Tap it onto my... Do you see that? It's crazy. So I just tap it. I don't really swipe it. Hit my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face again. Usually I like to use something that's more of like a toner spray, a hydrating spray. I'm going to use this Evian. This is the facial spray that I got from TJ Maxx. This works really good. I don't want to use too much setting spray because I don't want my face to be super matte. I want it to be dewy. So this is really going to enhance my dewiness. Okay, so for lips, it honestly just depends on how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling gloss, so I'm going to put on some gloss. Just some regular little Ruby Kisses gloss. I'm so upset. I really wish I could wear lipstick a lot more. But, you know, you got to have a mask on, so. So, you guys, this is basically the end of my everyday, simple, Miami sweat-proof makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. As you can tell, this makeup just looks so freaking good. It's just so simple. It's still glamorous, but it's not too glamorous to where, you know, stuff's just going to melt off or whatever. It just still looks good. It still looks like skin. It's still, it's just really, really nice, and I love it. I've been loving this freaking makeup routine so much it's my go-to i do tweak it a little bit if i do want to be a little bit more spicy but majority of the time i don't have time for that you know what i'm saying it's hot we don't even be outside like that anyway so yeah so if you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial of me showing you guys my everyday miami sweats proof routine if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel being sleeves to join the gang 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 and i'll see you to in my next video peace